Yo guys, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Omar. Guys, today we're going to be doing a dish that I am absolutely in love with. Every time I mention it to my friends, they're like, what the hell? What is that? But it seems to be a normal thing in India. So, I guess this is a very, very Indian dish. Uh, but we'll be do making a little twist to it as well. Uh, it just makes the dish even more tastier. Guys, today we're going to be making an egg curry. I know it sounds very, very strange. I made it for a few of my friends and they fell in love with it. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it because the oil has been heating in the pot for quite a while. It's been taking me a while to do this intro. So we've got one red onion here chopped very, very finely. We have one whole tomato that has been uh, chopped into four pieces. We have some orange bell pepper or yellow bell peppers, which I never usually use in this dish, but I had some left over in the fridge, so I'm just going to throw them in there. And then we have three large grated garlic um, cloves? Garlic cloves. Let's call them garlic cloves. Yeah, three grated garlics. So we're going to start by putting that in the pot first and foremost. So for the powders, the usual hot curry powder. We've got the Patak Madras paste, which goes so well with curries. I've got uh, not that much ginger powder left, so we're just going to use the rest of what's in here. We have red chili powder and we have turmeric. So this is usually the ingredients that I use for all of my curries. Give or take, change a few things every once in a while, but for the most part, this is what I use. So next up, we have a table, a teaspoon, sorry, a full teaspoon of curry powder. Uh, normally, we have a full teaspoon of ginger powder, but I've pretty much used as much as I could. We have a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and then we have one teaspoon of turmeric powder. So we'll put that all in there, and then we'll get a nice serving of patak paste. We'll use an entire teaspoon of that. And we'll just make sure we stir that nicely. So once the patak paste goes in and usually all the powders go in, it starts to thicken up. So if you want to thin it, all you need to do is add a little bit of water and that should sort you out. But it seems to actually be pretty okay. We'll roast that a little bit. So we'll roast this for a good couple of minutes, not too long though. So I'm going to squeeze just half a lemon in there, just to get it a little bit limey. Mix that up. Just going to add a little bit of water because it's starting to thicken up. There we go. Very nice. All right guys, so I've taken the pot off of the uh, the stove, let that cool down a little bit. So what we're gonna do next is, I've already uh, half boiled these potatoes, I actually did them this morning, and I boiled uh, four eggs and I've cut them in half. I usually have more than four eggs, but that's all I have left. So we're gonna use a bit more potatoes just to fill up the, uh, the curry. But uh, yeah, so we've got four boiled eggs and then we have, I think I used uh, three large potatoes and then one small one. So yeah, these have been sitting since the morning So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add these into the masala and we're just gonna roast the um, The eggs and the potatoes in the masala just so they can uh, pretty much soak up all that flavor Put that back on the heat turn that up to like a six and uh, Look at that. We actually aren't even going to be mashing this normally. I mash uh, the onions and the garlic, but uh, it's actually quite nice. I've finally, finally chopped the onions so they don't need mashing up. And then I've already grated the garlic. So we'll get our eggs. We'll just add them. I don't normally like yolk, but I'll put it in there for today. Don't want to waste food. And then we'll get the potatoes. We'll just add the potatoes as well. And we're just going to start mixing that nicely. You just want to try and not break the eggs or the potatoes, so don't be too rough on them. So add a little bit more water. You don't want to go too crazy with the water. Just a little bit of water makes such a huge difference. So we're going to roast this for, I would say, like a good 20 minutes. Uh, because we still need for the potatoes to fully cook. Because they've only been half boiled. The eggs are perfectly fine. I've boiled the eggs for a good 5 minutes. Uh, and they turned out fantastic. So this is mostly to finish cooking up the uh, the potatoes. And every once in a while, just add a bit of water if it starts getting too dry. So as you can see, I've been adding a little bit of water every now and then, and it's turning into a nice 
more thicker um, masala. It was quite dry at the beginning, but now it's turning to be quite nice. But we're not done yet. This isn't this isn't over. There's a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a secret ingredient that we're gonna add in about 10 minutes. I've been roasting this for a very good like six, seven minutes. So we'll give it another 10 minutes and then we'll add the next secret ingredient which is gonna bring this all together. All right, so the next part is we're gonna be adding some coconut milk. This is just Morrison's own coconut milk. Uh, and we're just gonna add the entire thing into the dish. <laughs> Doesn't wanna, oh, there we go. Perfect. And now we're gonna just mix that all up like that. There we go, and uh, I can already say that that smells absolutely fantastic. It actually smells like a Thai curry. And it's actually nice and thick as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this pretty much like cook slash boil, whatever you wanna call it, for, uh, for the next 10 minutes. Gonna add some salt, I would say, I don't know what this is actually, like a small teaspoon of salt. Salt that nicely. Don't overdo it. If you want to add some more salt later, you can. Oh, I'm not even kidding. That smells so, so good. We also mustn't forget coriander. It's actually mostly like the coriander stock because we're running a little bit low on coriander, but um, apparently coriander stalks have just as much flavor as the coriander, ow, as the coriander leaves. We'll turn that down a little bit. That's spitting everywhere. Just gonna stir that nicely. Stir this for for a good, I would say maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So the best way to know when it's done is through the potatoes. So we're gonna get a potato, probably that size, and we're gonna try and give it a cut. So if it's easy to cut, then you know you're pretty much done. That's actually, <laughs> that's pretty perfect. Uh, I would say maybe another, another 10 minutes and then that should be 100% finished. Okay, 10 minutes, it is safe to say, this dish is officially done. Try the curry out, I don't know what this tastes like. Oh my god! Oh my god, that tastes amazing. Oh my god, we have the white rice. Nice, fluffy white rice, we have the curry there, so we have a potato. We have an egg, stunning, nice thick curry. And then of course, last but not least, we have the, the white Greek yogurt because curry goes so well with Greek yogurt. Look at that. All right, first things first, start off with some rice. See how well we cook the rice. Mmm, beautifully salted. So we'll get some curry on that rice like that. That is so nice. See how good the potatoes are. Oh! Oh my god, they're actually so soft. They're so... Mmm! See how the eggs have turned out? Giving them a good roast. Beautiful. We'll get some yogurt, we'll get some potato, some egg, and then some rice. Mmm, mm -hmm. The yogurt honestly makes such a huge difference. I don't know why, it just does though. That is honestly work of art, my friend, a work of art, right? We'll try it one more time. It's a bit of a mess, but who cares, guys? Tasty. Mmm! Honestly, that is so good. Salted so perfectly. I don't know, it might just be because I don't really like salt in general, so even a little bit for me is just so strong. My mother likes a lot of salt, but I'm not a huge fan. The potato, so beautifully soft, really, really nice. The um, eggs 
have pretty much soaked up all that curry flavor. The curry is nice and thick. The rice, nice and fluffy, beautifully salted as well. It's not even that spicy, to be honest. Lots and lots and lots of flavor in there, which is exactly what I was going for. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, make sure you give it a try. It might sound strange, but it's really beautiful. Enjoy.